mind is limitless. There are no bounds to what we can achieve when we master our minds. Take, for example, the incredible feats performed by Shaolin Kung Fu monks. They break metal with their heads, walk on fire, and even walk on glass. If reality were as rigid as we believe, such feats would be impossible. But they are possible because the universe is mental. You have the power to choose whether to experience pain or not. Much of the pain we feel is unnecessary, merely a concept in our minds that we create and become attached to. You can experience this firsthand by taking cold showers. Initially, you may shiver, tense up, and eagerly await the end. But one day, you realize that cold showers are simply a concept. And the association of pain is just a product of societal conditioning. Once you recognize that water is not inherently cold and that all feelings of pain, cold, and heat are experienced within the mind, you can shift your perception. It's as if you flipped a switch and suddenly you no longer feel the cold. You can stay in that freezing shower for 20 minutes at 4 a.m. in winter without discomfort. To transform your life, pay attention to three crucial aspects, how you think, how you feel, and how you act. At the core of all material and immaterial things lies energy. Everything from money and fame to your own vitality and even your semen is energy. It cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed and transmuted. Therefore, everything you desire already exists within the vast energy field of the universe. The perceived differences in forms arise from the varying frequencies at which they vibrate. Material beings vibrate at relatively slow frequencies, while the spiritual and immaterial vibrate at high speeds. This explains why we can only perceive a fraction of reality, just around 1%. The rest exists at frequencies beyond our current perception. Nonetheless, monks and yogis tap into higher states of consciousness, enabling them to experience what seems like miracles to the average person. Now that we understand the basics, that everything is energy and that all that ever was and ever will be is already present, let's explore how we create our reality with our minds. Where do our experiences originate? The mind. Where do we perceive something? The mind. Where do we feel emotions? The mind. Everything happens within the mind. However, it's essential to differentiate between the mind and the brain. The brain is merely the physical manifestation of the mind, like a TV broadcaster. Even if the brain malfunctions, the signal of consciousness remains unaffected. When we fully grasp that all is mind and that the universe is mental, our lives begin to resemble lucid dreams. We can access higher states of consciousness and witness the extraordinary, much like the mystics and sages of old. But this understanding goes beyond superficially believing in the law of attraction. It requires deep introspection and personal experience to truly internalize this knowledge. Mere exposure to information, such as watching a movie like The Secret, won't suffice. Without real comprehension and analysis, this knowledge remains empty. This is why, despite the widespread awareness of these concepts, many people continue to live in pain and sorrow. They lack a genuine understanding. To truly grasp any concept, we must invest time, study, and relate it to our own experiences. We must engage our critical thinking abilities to connect the dots and unlock profound comprehension. Now, in conclusion, let's discuss the practice of retaining your seed and how it empowers you to control your mind and shape your reality. As we've established, everything is energy and semen is the most potent form of energy within us. It represents the essence of existence the manifestation of the divine. Retaining our seed allows us to conserve and transmute this energy within ourselves. Instead of dissipating it through ejaculation, we learn to harness and direct it toward our goals and desires. This practice goes beyond mere abstinence. It involves channeling our sexual energy toward higher pursuits. By retaining our seed, we experience heightened focus, discipline, and energy. Our minds become clearer and our ability to concentrate improves. We gain inner strength and vitality that permeates every aspect of our being. This elevated state enables us to align our thoughts, emotions, and actions with our intentions. We become conscious creators of our reality, attuned to synchronicities and opportunities that previously eluded us. Our intuition sharpens, 
guiding us along the right path. It's important to note that retaining your seed alone is not a magical solution. It complements other aspects of personal development. Cultivating positive thoughts, nurturing empowering beliefs, and taking aligned action are equally important. Ultimately, the power to shape our reality resides within us. By understanding that everything is mental and harnessing the power of our minds, we can create the life we desire. Regardless, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.